lighting some incense. Hi guys, it is Psyche Girl here today. What is up? I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, we are going to be talking about masculine energy as well as feminine energy. And if you have no idea what that is, I'm going to be explaining it in this video and how to heal your masculine and feminine. Regardless of your gender, we are both made up of feminine and masculine energy. We can also see this in nature as well. Masculine and feminine go in a pair. They nourish each other. This is the part of the duality that makes up our world today. Both masculine and feminine energy both have unhealed wounds and also a healed version of them. The wounded parts come from our ego, a place of fear as well as darkness. But when we become aware of our unhealthy patterns of our wounded self, we can stop recreating the same patterns over and over again and even stop projecting them onto others and heal ourselves. So I want to start this video off about talking about the wounded feminine. And so a wounded feminine can be caused by a lack of a ma a mother figure in your home, a lack of a mom. And so the first thing that I want to talk about is the toxic versions or the wounded versions. And so the first one that I wanted to talk about is the wounded feminine. A wounded feminine has a low self-worth, afraid to speak her truth, prioritizes other people at the expense of her own needs, compromises their values for someone else's. A wounded feminine is easily attached, manipulative, stuck in victimhood, so wanting to be saved by somebody, fear of being abandoned, drowning in your own emotions, no boundaries or no self-control. And so if you resonate with any of these qualities, it's okay, I have too, and I still do, because I'm working on also healing my masculine and feminine. And I've even realized that I'm, I've more been in my masculine state than I have been in my feminine state. So let's get on to the toxic versions of of the masculine so we can kind of understand this and put this all together but before i go on and i talk about the healed versions of the masculine and feminine and the unhealed versions of the masculine and feminine i also wanted to clarify again that if you are a male or female or non-gender watching this video you have masculine and feminine energy so we have to balance both of them. It's like we are a straight yin and yang. We are black and we are white. We have both of these qualities within us. And so the more that you can balance these qualities out, the more that you will find a partner that is also balanced out in these qualities. So a masculine that is very wounded, emotionally unavailable, controlling, constant inner and outer conflict, selfish, needing to be right, stuck in their mind, aggressive and they're afraid of failure overreacting i've connected with both of these versions of the masculine and the feminine these unhealed versions i'd say that i've been working on trying to heal my masculine and my feminine and the reason why they're not healed in the first place or why i have these issues is because of my childhood my dad was not present and my mom was not present and my mom was not in tune with her emotions or didn't listen to her intuition or she was a very afraid to speak her truth my dad was very emotionally unavailable and he was very controlling and so i've always attracted partners within this realm even in women and so it's because i have parts of these selves the parts of these in myself that I need to heal in order to start attracting the right people for me or else I'll keep attracting the same people that are like my parents until I heal those versions in myself on the other hand the healthy versions of the masculine and the feminine are very great qualities but first let's start with the feminine the feminine is very soft nurturing devoted it's a lot into feeling you're actually in tuned with your body listening to your body you're very adaptable so even if circumstances changes or plans go to flunk you can adapt to the situation and still be okay either way because a healed feminine is in her flow state she can go with her intuition and flow by the day if things don't go as planned it's okay because she's flowing and following her joy 
uh, it's a lot about also being vulnerable, showing compassion to yourself and others. The feminine energy that is healed knows how to surrender and be open and trust. And we also, when we are in this healthy feminine state, we radiate this sensual, mystery, sexual energy. When we're not scared to speak our truth or take up space or not feel confident within ourselves, the more that we have this like unwounded feminine and you're gonna attract those unwounded masculine. But the more that you're in this space, the more that you will create amazing circumstances around you. And so a healed masculine version has a lot of honor, power, efficiency, intellect, leadership, productivity, accomplishment, goals, morals, values. He can, the masculine energy can listen without being distracted. He is a man of his word and takes accountability. He's deeply present and he offers stability as well as security and responsibility. And the masculine energy is a lot more giving to it. You more so give. And the feminine energy has more of a receiving. You receive from that and you give it back tenfold. It's like the concept of that, if, if a man tells you that he loves you, she's gonna love you back and give it to you back tenfold. And more, if you know what I mean. And so if you feel like you have been stuck in these unhealed states of yourself and you relate to some of these unhealed qualities, I have some tips on to how to become the healed version of your masculine and your feminine. The first one that I wanted to talk about is your masculine. So how can you start healing your masculine and how do you can, how can you start getting to these better qualities and taking more accountability for your own self? I'm going to tell you right now. The first thing is honor your rest. A lot of what you're probably doing in a day to day basis is your go, go, going and you have a lot of the structure, whether you're going to work, you need to honor your rest time in this masculine energy. So honor that rest. Honor also the moments when you feel creative. Open and express your vulnerability. Pick a goal and start working towards it. This masculine energy needs a goal. It needs a goal so it can start doing some action towards it. <laughs> start seeing things clearly and more objectively. Be willing to take risks with confidence. Have less internalization and more action. A lot of what the masculine energy has is it has a lot of thought going up here and worrying rather than you taking the action and doing what you want to do. Another thing that you can also do to heal the masculine, heal your relationship with the masculine. So if you have a dad that wasn't present in your life, if you have a dad that was very controlling, very assertive, kind of not really around, not very in tune with his emotions, you are going to have some of those types of traits because it's just been passed on to you. And so you recognizing this is you recognizing the pattern that is stuck, recognizing the pattern that is stuck in your bloodline. And so when you, when you become aware of this, you can now change it into different things. Take responsibility for your own happiness is another one. And so most of why the, why the masculine energy is emotionally unavailable and very assertive and very controlling is because they didn't feel like they had a lot of control probably in their own childhood. Or you watched your dad be very, very, very assertive and emotionally unavailable and not be in tune with his emotions and say, don't cry, you're not supposed to cry, when these are all just belief systems put into your brain. So deconstructing your conditioning is very important when you're also looking at the masculine energy and healing it. Because we have all these conditionings that men shouldn't cry and men must have a successful career and men must not express their emotions and men must look strong and have these big muscles. These are all just examples of the conditioning that we have been uh, put through and I'm not even a man, but I've, I've seen the conditioning done to other people and what it's done to men nowadays. I've never seen, I barely see guys cry. You know what I'm trying to say? Like they don't show those emotions. They don't show that side of themselves, but they have that side of themselves because they have masculine and they have feminine energy. So a lot of the masculine nowadays need to get in touch with their feminine energy. <laughs> but when you really look at these conditionings as well as 
what has gone on in your childhood with the masculine and these feminine roles in your environment at home, you can really look back and be like, oh, I wonder why I might have these qualities because I've noticed these qualities in myself and I do believe that it's just because it's been passed down and conditioned upon to me to have all of these beliefs about myself, which aren't even my beliefs or not what I even want to portray myself as. The next one that I want to talk about is how to start healing your feminine energy. This one I want to say is boundaries. Learn how to say no. If you don't want to do something, if you're doing it at the expense of your own happiness, do not do it. Start learning to say no. Stop always being available all the time for people. Start saying no and saying yes to yourself and start doing things for yourself while other people also want you there. It's meaning like you might need to let some people down in order to sacrifice for your own happiness and that is okay. Second, offer support and safety to others and you do this when you listen to them because they start to feel safe. Third, try a competitive task. This could bring you into a little bit of your masculine energy which is good for the feminine. Take masculine inspired action. So this means taking inspired action. So the feminine needs to work on taking inspired action. When you feel joy, when you feel good about what you're going to do, that's when you should take the action. Don't take action action if it's not going to feel good because then it won't end up good. The more that you take action when you already feel good, the more that it will become more successful. I don't remember what number I'm on, but be assertive and decisive. So you need to start taking up space. So if people ask you questions, don't just say like, oh, I don't know, like you pick. If you start having a decision, start having a voice for yourself, start finding out what you like and being assertive, which means like standing up for your own beliefs. If somebody is, contra if somebody is saying something that you don't agree with, you can also be open minded and share your beliefs as well. Next, be open to receiving. I've been doing this affirmation for probably about two weeks now. I've been saying, I'm ready to receive. I'm open to receiving because the feminine energy is all about receiving things. And so when you receive these things, you can amplify it and give it right back in different areas, whether it's helping somebody on the street, whether it's seeing a homeless person and you're giving them $20 because you feel like giving that back and amplifying it and giving it back. Like allow yourself to also receive more. Ask for favors and get the support when you need it. Ask for help, stand up, speak your truth. I have a hard time asking for help. I have a hard time asking for favors from people because I don't believe that people will do it or I, I just say, oh, I'll do it myself. But you need to take up space. That's what the feminine energy is. You need to take up that space. Lastly, do things that feel good physically, whether this is getting a massage, whether this is doing some dance, whether this is exercising, whether it's doing some yoga. The more that you move your body and you feel good in your body, the more that sexual energy will start to come out of you and you'll start to even seem more mysterious. But when you, as you start to gain this confidence, you'll already start to uh, attain that. Another thing is too with healing your feminine energy is looking at the feminine energy in your childhood. So your mom figure, whatever she was like, whatever she was in, if she was in her power and she was in this feminine energy, then you can tell. But if she wasn't and she was uh, unable to speak her truth, she had a low self-worth, she was easily attached to people, she was stuck in a victimhood wanting to be saved. That's why, these, why, that's why this conditioning of this feminine energy is onto you now. Because that's the only feminine energy that you've really been around in your early years. So that's what you're going to be conditioned to be like. And now that I'm making you aware of this, the more that you can look at the qualities in the masculine and feminine energy in your childhood and see where you relate, see where you don't, see what was passed on to you and conditioned onto you so you can be aware of it, so you can change the patterns, change the beliefs, change these circumstances. You realize that now you have a trouble looking at your worth, it's because you had a reflection back in your childhood of a mom that didn't see her worth. And so, what else do you know, right?
And so I feel like it's I feel like this is a really powerful video for you to kind of like even look back at the things I said and kind of see where you fit, see where your mom and your dad fit in the spectrum of healed and unhealed and see if they're even having both of these energies balanced out. Because even though I am female, I still have a lot of masculine energy in me because I was more so around my father than I was my mother. So I didn't, I, I'd say that my masculine is un, very wounded more than my masculine looking at the circumstances in my own childhood. So now this, you might need to take a little bit of thinking and kind of like see where things are in place for you. And I hope that the healing tips and balancing out tips will be helpful for you for the masculine and the feminine energy. And I hope you have a good day, night, or evening. And yeah, I hope this video helped.